Tim and Joel. Listen via the Nova Player. Download it now from the App Store or Google Play and take Nova wherever you go. The Nova Player. Thank God it's Monday. Wow, it feels amazing. Just a warm hug, isn't it? This is Kate, Tim and Joel. We're an old-fashioned person. Two guys and a girl. Boom. Yes. Radio. Sit back and enjoy the ride. T G I M. Yeah, hallelujah. Mondays have not been the same being away from the wireless and the two of you. No, I've missed you. I know, I just missed, you know, radio. I just love to broadcast. Uh, yeah, I, I always, when I go away, listen to the radio where I am. Oh, yes. Did you hear the um, local version of Kate, Tim and Joel while you were overseas? Uh, yes, oh, yes. No, I did, yes. Did you know? I listened to a bit of Capital Breakfast with Roman Ken. Oh, nice. And what's it good? And Radio X. Were they playing games? We can steal. BBC Radio 1. Look, I wasn't um, taking much notice. Right. It was in the background. Oh, right. Just a little white noise. Just a little white noise, you know. Mm. It's great to see your face. It's so nice to see the two. Me work family. Oh, I know. You both look very well. And I'm. uh, Kate, I'm not surprised by it. Blackers, I'm, I'm, in, I'm amazed that you're still in one piece. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I didn't know boots. if I was going to see you again. I know. Oh. Oh, wow. oh yeah, bummer. Yeah, bummer. I did send you a text at one stage saying, are you still alive? Yeah, I know. That was mm. very nice of you. I messaged you too, Joel, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Said, oh. yep, he's alive. Absolutely. <laughs> Will concern. God, you too. How are you? <laughs> I did, actually. I went, <laughs> Tim survived Splendour. Oh, not Splendour. What was the no, one you went to? No, that's next. I've actually made yeah. a weird a little appearance on a British travel show too while I was away. Have oh, you? Really? The farm I was staying at in Herefordshire, they came out to film because it's a beautiful place of the part of the world, Herefordshire. Uh, under the Nut Tree is a little restaurant, Google it, mm. um, started by a mate of ours who is a Melbourne boy, mm. okay. and um, they came over to film the transformation of the castle and the restaurant. We While you up, were there. We picked up a pig, we put it in the back of the car, and then two hours later we turned it into sausages, and then we put oh it on the gosh. open fire. And it was one. Wow, it sounds so vegan. Wow. Oh, yeah. no, it's not. Under the Nut Tree is not for vegan. Good to hear you ate. Yeah, 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 I had a meal. <laughs> a meal. <laughs> I, had a meal. Oh, I went to our favourite restaurant, Kate Ritchie. I know. And, I when you sent me photos, photos and I was like, oh, God, yeah. reminiscing. Mm. Oh, Kate, did your slippers rock up, by the way? Yes. Oh, when are you going to model them? I for took us? a photo. Did I'll you? send it to you. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, well, I didn't get but the But they were, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. We shouted you. those. That was your jazzy working, slippers for backstage. so hard. AGT slippers. I mean, Ricky Lee doesn't have slippers that good. No, we didn't get any. I didn't have time to send you photos and, you know. I got a today's view from you, which was fun. You behind your big AGT microphone. Oh, cool. oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then I yeah. gave you my POV, which was very different. Yeah, <laughs> which was like the pictures of wet wipes on the tent floor. Nothing <laughs> like uh, mine. Kate, Tim, and Joel. All my we love pictures. Oh, oh, I've got like twenty thousand awesome. photos in my phone. Oh, really? That's ridiculous. I've got. I think I've got something oh, you, like fifty-nine you'd have more than thousand. That. Yeah. And you don't have any children, so what are you taking photos of? Oh, food. I know what you're taking photos yeah. of. <laughs> <laughs> don't answer that. Food. I know, yeah, food. Airport. Girls lounges. Yeah. I, I got 19,512 <laughs> photos. No way. 3,325 videos. Okay, hang on, let me have a look. I've got fi- oh, I've got fi- 58,500 on the knocker. Mm-hmm. And I've got oh, I've got 9,703 selfies. <laughs> Do you really? Oh, really? Yeah, How and many? I've got 9,703. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on, let me find out what mine is. That's so tragic. How do you find that out? Uh, down the bottom oh, if you yeah, scroll yeah. down. How many have you got? Oh, 3,900. Oh, right, right. selfies. Rookie. And then 3,289 videos. Have you got any videos of the Rolling Stones? Nope. Really? Mm, oh. Do you? Here we go. Oh, cool, cool, How long man. are we going to have to put up with this? Until uh, I well, go again? <laughs> well, Splendour's soon, so we'll be hearing about that, no mm. doubt. Oh, well, so you should be. Oh. Australia's finest festival. Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, apart from like, the other good ones. No, I like the Flower and Garden support. show. Do you? Mm. In Chelsea? No, in oh. Melbourne. Oh. <laughs> I, did a, I, did, I did a story at Canberra, the, the yeah. Melbourne Flower and Garden show and then did took you? tulips to our old mate's house. Did you? <laughs> I did. Oh, oh that's, that's so fine. nice. Because I am merely... Because you're a good uh, guy. I'm a good guy. I'm also not you predictable. Are... No, I <laughs> know. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of pictures, pictures yeah, to prove it. Yeah, have you got it. a photo of an avalanche? The coolest thing you've caught on camera, 13, 24, 10. What is the coolest thing you've caught on camera? Remember, all our calls today get that 100 bucks, and you're in the running for the first class and 50K. I sent this story through quite late today. Because mm-hmm. it wasn't it, like the usual kind of celebrity stories or whatever. I wasn't waiting for the celebrity to pop up no, in this avalanche. No, no. <laughs> but this is awesome. A British man named Harry Shimon, he was on a guided tour in Central Asia. Yeah, How do I pronounce that? Uh, I don't know. I think Joel How do I pronounce there, that place? <laughs> um, Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. Uh, with eight other people. And when the group reached the highest point on the mountain range, mm-hmm. an, aval- an avalanche from a nearby peak started to unfold. Now, this footage is actually incredible. Is it there it is. No, what's he doing standing at the Have foot of an avalanche? Oh, oh my gosh. Be freaking out. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Oh, God. What's he doing? Oh, dear God. Because I'd be thinking, oh, my God, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Why doesn't he get out of the way? Well, as the avalanche approached him, he did take cover under a ridge so the snow could go over oh, Glen him. Ridge. <laughs> over <laughs> the top. He was unharmed. Is that, it says grab here. I'm guessing that's the grab we've just listened to. Yeah. But it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'd run. That's stupid, though. Like, you know, mm. when you hear people who get caught up in stuff like that, you go, well, what are you, what yeah, are you doing? Yeah, no, I know. Oh, look how close he <gasps> gets. Oh, wow, it actually gets him. Yeah. Why are you standing in front of it? Yeah. Can I ask a dumb question? Is that snow or water? It's snow. Snow. Oh, okay, thank you. I wanted, I asked what it was too. Okay, good. I feel Until I saw it was clearly fine. snow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's snow. Mm. Kyrgyzstan. Wow. Kyrgyzstan. How do you say it? Kyrgyzstan. Oh, it's not been on my list. Joel's been to a few Kyrgyzstan parties. No. <laughs> Put your Kyrgyzstans in a bowl. <laughs> whereabouts oh, is that? Nice. Central Asia. No, I know that, but where in Central Asia? It's in like in the middle. <laughs> like not on the left or the right, in the middle. Or not south or north. It's yeah. Central Asia. Right. Okay, Another so question bang in the middle. About yeah, things that are in the middle. so helpful today. <laughs> First day back and everything. Where's your belly button? Oh, it's Central Body. <laughs> hey, Tim and Joel. You know what else is weird? When you're home, being out in the world between three and six, like it's pretty, you know what three and six is? Boring as hell. I know. <laughs> Nothing's no, happening. It's not. No, you've had lunch. It's it's too early for dinner, and it, everyone's kind of a bit cranky. I, know, I like it's that the... time of day. I like the sunshine in my house at that time of day, because I don't usually get to see it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. With the the sun setting. What are you doing in the house setting. three to six? Are you in the home office or have you? Yeah, yeah. usually just yeah. you know doing emails Faxing, and stuff, doing the housework, polishing yeah. your logies. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I love else? you, baby. Yeah, I love you. No, no, baby. No, 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 no that little logie. You want a little snacky? Oh, mm-hmm. gorgeous little logie. Little, little whiny. Mm, your mummy's logie. <laughs> <laughs> no one else was. <laughs> Two. I've got two. Five. <laughs> Five? Yeah, but gold ones. We're talking about real ones. Gold, yeah. Two gold. About the Not the silver ones. ones. Well, what are they? But the silver ones are like, pff, here's the stuff what, before like the... like the poor cousin? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, everyone's no, got a they're lady. not. No, they don't. Yeah, but pretty much. I mean, let's, let's get Do the you? Li- let's get the list. If I did TV, do I'd have heaps. No. <laughs> <laughs> pretty easy. Let's get you the list. You do do TV. I oh, know, but real TV. You know, the ones that aren't on, like, you know, on, oh, in the okay. afternoon All on the right. weekend. Okay. Oh, maybe right. you'll get your third gold for Australia's Got Talent. Oh, my God. Oh, what a comeback. don't say that. Oh, I reckon you might. But you, they shame. And Jacobson, because I mean, surely David Williams wouldn't be eligible no. or interested. <laughs> <laughs> the Madden could... brothers won it, didn't they? The Did gold, they? Right? You did yeah, because there was a big, yeah, because there was a big hoo ha. Because they won, they won it. They for, won best newcomer. Yeah, didn't they? they won not Which best, no most sense. popular. Oh. Um, well, that makes sense. The Madden brothers on Australian telly is pretty cool. Yeah, because they were on The Voice. It's like Joel winning a radio award. It's ridiculous. I know, but I did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, Michelle. Okay, this is pics to prove it. Things of amazing things. Not just, not just like pictures of your kids on the swings. This is no. like stuff that's like. Not like Joel's 9,000 selfies. I know. Yeah, or pictures of his big Balenciaga <laughs> shoes. Oh, like, where's this going? Actually, now? what about that shoe? That shoe I, actually, we're, we're going to talk about your shoes in Mailbag, but I did send you from Harrods mm-hmm. the most ridiculous uh, shoe you've did ever you? seen in your life. Remember oh, that one have, from the Balenciaga shop? Let me have a little refresher. Oh, did you me. buy them for me? Of course not. They were like, it was ridiculous. Why? But I'm such a good friend. Yeah, there they are. Show me. Oh, how ridiculous are they? 
Um, oh, oh, I love yeah, them. Like the, the, no. Oh, gum boots. Cool. The gu- gum boots with the square toe. Very yeah, trendy. Very cool. Mm. Um, Michelle. Get them to Splendor. Yeah, you could if you were invited. <laughs> um, Michelle, <laughs> what did you get a picture of? Because this man, a British man, got a photo right from the, the mouth, I guess, of the avalanche. Yeah. <laughs> Risked his life. Yeah. yeah. What did you get a photo of? Well, I was in um, one of my local shopping centres about three or four years ago, and there was a massive hailstorm. It was on all the news and everything. And I was doing my groceries, and all of a sudden, the hail is, like, coming through the ceiling, breaking through the ceiling, and I started videoing that. And everyone was just, like, running for cover, and all these old people were just, like, sitting there going, oh, that's interesting. But I put it on Facebook, and then all the TV stations picked it up, and then all my friends are ringing me saying, oh, my God, your video is on Channel 7, your video is on Channel 9, your video is on Channel 10. Oh, oh ABC and SBS not interested. <laughs> no, I went viral. Uh, wow. did, did they pay you for that footage just out of interest, or did they no. just take oh, yeah, it? No, I don't think they did. They ask. Yeah. Did they no, ask? Did they ask? They didn't even ask. No. No. Oh, cheeky buggers! I think because you are publishing it. That is, that's the thing. You are deciding yeah, to publish once it's it up there. It belongs to everyone. But if you oh. send it to them like individually and went, hey. Channel yeah. Nine, yo Carlos, I got yeah. this footage of uh, some some hail. Do you oh, want it? Wicked hailstorm. Give me a hundred bucks and it's yours. I reckon Carl, Carl's a great guy. I'd give you a hundred bucks if you ask for it. Oh yeah, of course you sure. would. Or get someone to do it. <laughs> They're celebrating forty years at the moment. I saw that. Are they? Fancy promo with Tracy involved and Steve Aww. Liebman and Liz Hayes. Oh, yes, I even saw that. Um, Lisa Wilkinson's involved in the forty year celebration. Is she? Yeah, she's done a little piece to camera. Is she? Mm. That's nice. Bit of Wilco. Bit of Wilco back where she belongs. <laughs> get her back to Channel Nine. It feels right. It does it does? Mm. Joseph, get What did you get a picture of? It's amazing. Um, it was actually my girlfriend. She uh, got a video of me getting slapped in the face by a Komodo dragon at Singapore. <laughs> in Singapore? Oh, my gosh, I've been there yeah. recently. And how does it slap you in the face? Oh, uh, well, I was actually trying to touch it, and uh, you're not meant to. No. They're wild there, but um, it was worth a try. I had a, We had a Komodo dragon walk through our courtyard in Byron Bay a couple of years ago. Really? It was mental. Mm, I don't mind wearing a Komodo around the house. Tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Leah. Picks to prove it. What did yeah. you get? Yeah. Oh, when the G20 was on in Brisbane, all the police were standing around, very bored, nothing to do. My girlfriend and I, when the nutbush came on at a pub that we were in, we ran out and we were on one side of the crossing and they were on the other side of the crossing and we challenged them and they all started doing the nutbush with us oh, at the this same is... time. Oh, oh, that is so is great. It. Oh, wow. And you can actually... Yeah, you can see it on, on YouTube. We're watching it now. We're watching it now. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, that's, oh, that's fun. fun. Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova. Get him on your mail back, shall we? Let's sit down and just be by their side. Listen clear to the mailbags we all like. Don't forget to send yours and hear us right. Yeah, Bangs is back. Welcome, Bangs. Hey, Bangs. Hey, thanks. Uh, KTJ at NovaFM.com.au. Get us on the social so you can text us anytime as well. If you'd like, 04800 31 KTJ. It's nice looking at the texts from people over the last couple of weeks thinking that we're on live. I know. By the way, I liked it when you used to play the little text um, sound. That was fun. Did we? Oh, yeah, yeah you used to do that. that. You can text us and go, ding. That was fun. Just a bit of feedback. Did I? Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Like, like, do you, you actually that listen? That one? Yeah, I actually listen to him sometimes. That's a tweet. Yeah, that's funny. Or a Facebook if anyone uses it. I don't think I have a text tone, do I? I yeah, you used up. to always play the text tone when you say you can text us anytime. Okay, well, let's start that again, please. And I, yeah. f- I feel bad the team's obviously let us down on this one. <laughs> <laughs> right, That'd be right. <laughs> God, Someone else's fault. Mm. You, you should have been using that time to refresh and reevaluate your pros and cons. You've done pros and cons lists. Yeah. <laughs> pros and cons <laughs> lists. <laughs> you know, but, uh, Don't you usually have the meetings with the big butcher's paper and uh, yeah, stuff Yeah, like we were that? in here over the weekend, actually, with the oh, butcher's paper. Oh, were you? Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Pen behind your ear. Yeah. Behind oh, me, new ideas. Yeah. yeah, new ideas. Yes, we still want Kate and Joel on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could just do like Thursday, Friday or something, Kate and I. Oh, that would be That nice. would be a dream. <laughs> you just not for you. Audience. Not for the audience. No, of course not. No. I love so it. much to say. I love it. I know you do. 
Imagine your Instagram stories if you didn't have a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, my mailbag is from um, is from my Instagram. I put in a request. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was based on this uh, video that then I reposted too because we were back. My cool white ones. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. And Are you, you it, serious? We have no taste. I think I actually do. <laughs> I think I'll stop you there for a sec. I think you have no taste. I think. <gasps> oh. <laughs> You bitch. Um, I remember that. Yeah, that was fun. I love a little bit of back and forth. Um, but anyway, that's what happens when you come to Sydney? Yeah. What? What? We get in each other's hair? No, you can see your shoes. Because yeah. usually when you're in Melbourne, we can't judge your shoes. I'm wearing the dirtiest pair of shoes today. No, let me, my, let my, me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, they are. But I am wearing the Kate Tim and Joel socks. Um, yes. Uh, have anyway, a pair of those. You don't have a pair? I don't have a pair of those. No, why oh. don't I have some? Get amongst it, mate. Um, anyway, okay. my friend, um, Denny Todorovic, who's a really top stylist, styled by Denny, um, commented on that video yeah. of us uh, having a back and forth about my shoes and said, can confirm the oversized Balenciaga sneaker, also known as the Triple S, mm. didn't know that, are alongside Yeezys, the most copied sneaker of the last five years. Hashtag Team Joel. No, they are. <laughs> well, Denny's completely unqualified for a job. <laughs> oh, they're very qualified. There's a lot of people out there with heaps of money who have no taste. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, you just went to a country. Oh, there they are. Oh, what are you talking about? No, they're about? all right. It's the ones that Joel has. They're what I have. Well, they look better in the picture. Oh, is it maybe me? Smaller. Maybe it's the model. Yeah. They're actually smaller. Yeah, and you're wearing them with your pajamas on Eurovision. It looked ridiculous. No, no, it was summer. People don't realise it was actually summer over in Italy, and I was very hot. Oh, all right. <laughs> but people had a lot to say. I saw that. That was some of the nicer feedback. I saw oh that. my gosh! Speaking of, you know how when I was on Eurovision and um and I got a, a bit of feedback about my weight. Uh, oh, that's right. I went to the opening. Has that on a, eased? No, it's gotten worse. So I went to the opening of um, Six, the musical in Melbourne the other night. It was awesome. Oh, I was going to go to that. How was it? It's really awesome. Oh, oh, shut God. up. Was it amazing? Oh, it was really God. fun. You went to Six? Are you oh, serious? <laughs> yeah, it was. How did you get God. excited to that? <laughs> Say that. I was there. I was talking about Glastonbury and the Stones. <laughs> hey, God, you went to Six? Shut up. How have you been keeping that to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be you, your life, the <laughs> So I went to the Singapore o- and Six. Oh, shut up, oh both of you. God. I went to the opening of Six, and I was in the queue for the candy bar. Shock you horror. Get, you get oh, the op- who else was at the opening? Rhonda um, Birchmore and the Rhonda gang. Rhonda Birchmore, Lucy Durack. Oh wow, um, the A-list. Yeah, absolutely, it was great. Anyway, someone behind me said, as I'm queuing up at the candy bar, oof, he's really porked up. <laughs> No, they didn't. I'm serious. Oh my they goodness. did not. That's so they did. Rude. He's really porked up. I mean, I know I have. Out of ten, though, seriously, how is six? Ten. It was oh. great. It's all about the six wives of Henry V. I know. <laughs> I didn't know that. God. And they all sing these, like, sassy, cool, like, belter numbers. Oh, I bet. Was it so super sassy? You wish it were longer? Oh, it was It was, It was. was very sassy. I had a great time. I, I gave it a standing O. Oh, God. You did not. I did. Oh, no. I did. I would have given it a like. standing no. No, and then, was it the opening night, though? Everyone was, does that. It was opening night. night yeah. And then They're I so waved. happy to be out of the yeah. house. No, no. I waved to them. I was really excited. I did like this as I was standing up. Oh, my God. They would love that so much. Mm, It was fun. Far out. Was the six after party just amazing? (laughs) Divorced, Uh, beheaded, live. Oh, yeah. That's one of the songs they sing. Is is that the review? You wish you were beheaded afterwards? (laughs) (laughs) It's fantastic. Look, it's taken Broadway, the West End, and the Sydney Opera House by storm. Yeah, that's what it says on the web. Also, you know what? As much as I love the Sydney Opera House, heaps of shit's been on at the Sydney Opera House. (laughs) Don't you know, it'd be amazing to be on the Opera House. There's heaps of theatres in there. I know people who have shows at the Opera House. It's well, not that impressive. not to um, make you too jealous, but I'm going to the opening of 9 to 5, the musical on Thursday night. <laughs> How's your life? Oh, my, oh, my God. God. You're like Prince William. <laughs> anyway, I wish we could talk about musicals for the rest of the show, but we I can't. Wish too. Uh, because, uh, Kate Ritchie, you have a great mailbag from Stacey. Oh, God. Are we still doing mailbag? <laughs> yeah. Where am I? Where's my mailbag? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yes. Uh, Twitter DM. Uh, Write up Tim's Alley Guys. 
And it's just a photo of a kid it's just a photo. doing hopscotch on a chalked out line of a penis. Aww. Oh, wow. Hey guys, yeah. what are you doing? It's a hop scotch. <laughs> it's a hop uh, scotch. How are we even doing this on the radio? You know, it's so visual. Do you know who the nanny is? Is that the hop scotch? <laughs> now I've got one because this is exciting. Okay. And my mailbags are from Mickey D's. Okay, go. <gasps> yeah, that's right. The big uh, bloody golden arches. What, Ronald? Actually yeah. from McDonald's. McDonald's have told me because they know I'm obsessed with sauces and condiments. You like, love condiments. That they're releasing four limited edition sauces this month. I'm like, all right, Mickey D's, I'll read on. <laughs> that includes, <laughs> includes the return of fan favourite Cajun sauce mm. and the Aussie debut of Szechuan sauce. Yum. No way. We got nugs in when we were putting the show together today so we could sample the sauces and I can confirm. Oh. Not as good as Six the Musical. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm going to play some songs from it. Please, please do. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is Woo! Kate, Tim and Joel. Someone so I ran into over the holidays listens to our show on the Nova Player and they've never heard of our show before. They, they just discovered it. Wow. An actual, well, an actual English girl. Oh, they listened to it over yeah. uh, over there. She was right. working at one of the bars at Glastonbury. Really? Oh, we got oh. to talking. And, um, yeah, and she listens on the Nova player. Well, mm. shout out to uh, unnamed person. Yeah. Hi. Mm. Hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, right. It's time to talk about things that you've accidentally smuggled in. Maybe, you know, you put some, sh- some hashish in a boogie board bag and <laughs> popped away for a while. I know. If you're a Corby <laughs> listening, call up. Yeah, Corby's uh, on call. Mm. Um, we should give them the Corby's a hotline. They should. They Mercedes, should. Mercedes, get on the line. Because yeah, sometimes I'd like Mercedes or Chappelle or Rosalie's take on things. Yeah, same. Mm. Um, you're also mentioning things that are back. Cameron Diaz is back. In what um, way? Oh, well, she I had. Know. A, she had an eight Kate's years. Kate's least favourite actress. Is it? Are you I was serious? only telling someone about that over the weekend. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm really? not a massive fan. Why, why is that? I mean, I, I, know, I know why, but why? why is it for the radio? Oh. <laughs> Why she do you seems think it so is? nice. She does no, seem yeah, nice. She so seems fun. actually down to she's her. She's fun. Yeah, and she's Charlie's angel. Yeah, true. Isn't that's got to count for something? Yeah. She, was she was she a Thorpey's angel? <laughs> I, think I know she was a Charlie's angel. <laughs> what would you rather be, a Charlie's angel or a Thorpey's she's angel? She's one of those people who smiles and her eyes close up. Oh, oh like Renee wow. Zellweger. Gosh, so. <laughs> So, what's the word? Superficial. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's me all over. Let well, she's back look. after an eight-year oh, hiatus. She's lovely. What's she doing? Not movies again, I hope. <laughs> um, she, yeah, she's doing a movie with um, Jamie Foxx, I think. Oh, oh gosh. Yes. Oh, yes, it is. Um, she's on last, the circuit. Oh, her last movie was that Atrocious Annie remake, the musical. Oh, I didn't oh see that. yeah, Idiots. no. Um, anyway, she's doing a Netflix movie with Jamie Foxx. However, mm. she has revealed that, or claimed that she was potentially yes. used to smuggle something right. into Morocco during the early days of her career. Was it a tagine? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that Moroccan? Oh, sport. Yes. Yeah, couscous um, and sultanas. Well How about you do something else? Oh, I love wow, a tagine. I love a bit of dried fruit. Oh. <laughs> dates. That's me on a Sunday. Dates and couscous in a tagine. Yum. It's a bit fun. Oh, it's, it's so sweet. good. It's like Ainsley. Studded. It reminds Yogurt. me of Ainsley Harriet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'd love a tagine. Like run out of ideas. <laughs> mm. Well, Cameron was working in Paris in her early 20s. Yeah. And she booked a job, which turned out to be suspicious after she was asked to carry a locked suitcase (laughs) through an airport on arrival. I didn't work a day in Paris, but really I think I was like a mule carrying (laughs) drugs to Morocco, I swear to God, (laughs) like early 90s. And they gave me a suitcase that was locked that had my costumes in it, quote unquote. Uh Mm, That's savoury, if that's true. Yeah, because they ask you at the airport, you know, did you pack this bag yourself? And they always say no. How old was she in um, something about Mary? Or oh. when was she massive? Yeah, well, this, about Mary, I think. yeah. Well, this was just like, before was the, she filmed The Mask. That was in 1994. Oh, that's right. The Mask was her first big one, wasn't it? Yeah. Somebody stop me. Mm-hmm. It's fun. The Mask. Yeah, Jim Carrey's fun. Uh, what's he like? He's so kooky. Yeah, he was the highest paid comedian ever. In movies. So he was the first person. Still oh. now? No, no, well, he was the first, The cable guy set 
records. Oh, really? Wow. I think that was after Ace Ventura. And Cable Guy was like, boom, he's in the big leagues. Who was his wife? Um, oh, Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy. And she was on The View for a while. She was on The View for a little while. And she's got some interesting opinions on vaccines. <laughs> yeah, I know. But Whoopi wouldn't let her speak, so no one knows what they are. No. <laughs> she's also a judge on The Masked Singer, the American Masked Singer, oh, Jenny God, McCarthy. Oh, is she? They? I know. Like, what's she got to do with anything? But isn't that the idea of the mass singer? Everyone's a bit random. Oh, it's a bit random. But it's I like think, silly. yeah, like, no, you know, I know what you mean. You're know, like judging people. People on judging. One of those. One of those. One of those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you a mean you judge? Gotta, you got to like oh, yeah, tickle the me- boxes. Have you had an opinion yet? Yes, I have. Oh, have really? You? And I've thought of you while I've had an opinion. And then I thought, am I having an opinion or am I having an opinion because they think I'm not going to have an opinion? Have you been nasty? Well, I've had to do... I've had to off camera, like normal. (laughs) (laughs) No, I mean to like the axe, not the crew. Yeah, Yeah, well, you have to do like a no. Oh. Like Like the big X. Yeah, like that. Oh, it's X Factor. No, not X Factor. I thought it was Australia's Got Talent. (laughs) Pinching ideas left, right, centre. Come on, do they have the big X on Australia's Got Talent? Yeah, my name's up there with like the big X on it. I'll say, don't use her again. (laughs) Kate, Tim, and Joel Nova. Lots has been happening, lots of big things. Let's have a look at the first one. Oh, Oh, little Prince Prince George. I I just feel like we're kindred spirits. Isn't that you? Yes, Aren't you I meant to be him. I played him, you know, in a one-man play. Oh my goodness! That's mm-hmm. right. Is there anything you can't do? It's, it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it's really astounding. Um, he was he was at the Wimbledon um, men's grand final. I know, yeah. and it's twenty-eight degrees, and he's in a navy suit. Yeah, it's and a he great said he was suit. hot. Um, you can't really hear it very well, but someone's caught this as they're walking into their seats. Bit hot. No. So he's a bit hot. Yeah, fair enough. Um, from Prince George to this uh, shady character. Oh, Army Hammer. <laughs> yes. We haven't spoken about him for I a while. Know. No. Now it turns out, I guess, when you're a shamed kind of Hollywood star, uh, you have to get another job. And he's working selling timeshare, I think it is. Is he? Yeah, in the Caribbean. Yeah. Or the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, or, or yeah, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Is he still There's eating some... people? I think so on his lunch break. Right. Okay. Yeah. So he does timeshare in the morning, a little bit of a nom 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 on yeah, foot, a little and bit then... of cannibalism at lunch. <laughs> yeah, yes. Back to work. I do feel a bit bad yes. for him because obviously there's paparazzi photos of him. Obviously, you know, he's trying to kind of move on and yes. get another career, and but still loves eating people. They're tracking him down. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, what is this one here? And flip. Oh. oh. Flip too hard, damn it! Oh, yeah, everyone's losing their mind about seeing Chris Hemsworth's bum. Um, it's just Thor Love and Thunder. Has it got something to do to do really well at the box office? Is that what it's about? Yeah, well, yeah it's what done, are the numbers on it? Well, it's done about 300 million US, so no one's, no one's losing their job on Thor anytime soon, but... It's been labelled as too juvenile by many fans. Well, yeah, I saw I didn't the see it when I went to the cinema the other night and I, I was like, is this a comedy? I don't understand. I think that's what they are doing now. Um, by the way, speaking of movies, what did you see? I saw um, the new Jurassic World. Bow, bow. Um, what, did you, really? what did you expect? I know, and also, the, like, the, there's too many dinosaurs in it. I know that sounds ridiculous, yeah. but you see the dinosaurs straight away, and the whole exciting part of Jurassic Park is like waiting for the T Rex. They're bloody everywhere in this film. I watched The House of Gucci on the plane. Oh, did okay. you? I can admit. Hi, everybody. It was worse than I thought. Oh, uh, no, but no, she's but so it was, good no. in it. No, it was trash. Everyone's accent was trash, and the story was trash. Did you hate watch it? I watched it on the plane. I fell asleep, and then I rewatched the end of it on my descent. Well, yeah, but I did think... you did you fall asleep because it was a bad film or because you'd had twenty five red wines? Mm. Well, I wasn't counting the red wines, but <laughs> a bit of both. But, but you it also was shocking. You went in. No, I went in wanting. Yeah, you did. I wanted to watch it. I was excited. I even said to my travel partners, "Ooh, the House of Gucci's on the plane." Ooh, I also <laughs> saw Top Gun, your favourite. Yeah, and? amazing. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Wasn't it was it? fine. It was fun. It was um, fine. And also, you're allowed to have fun. Just relax every now and then and have fun with a good movie. <laughs> I 
going gold notice class. How, notice how uh, Tom Cruise didn't go, oh, it's time to fly the jet, though. <laughs> well, because <laughs> she's Italian in it. She's not, though. She's putting on a voice. Yeah, no, she's know, half Italian. It's not good. Yeah, I know. It's so shockingly she can't do an Italian accent. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Top again, the three. Uh, which one? I did the back of the jet. Uh. No, I watched it again the other day, also on a plane. You did not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I did. Wow. Uh, final uh, glossy here. What's happening? Oh, Cardi B. Oh, yes. She's hit someone that, with a microphone. Oh. Yes, she has. She has. She was performing in the UK um, and was standing in the front row amongst the fans and then she was kind of sitting on the shoulders of a security guard yeah, when a fan tried to grab her. Yeah, someone's trying to take her somewhere. And Cardi was visibly getting angry and we've seen using the microphone oh. to bend herself. Look, oh, look at that. Wow. Like oh, really babe. having, yeah, yeah, really having a go well, at going someone. Well, going to the crowd at your own risk. Bro- they've tried to broke her or something and she's like, oh my God, don't. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Mm. Don't touch me. Was she in the house of Gucci? <laughs> Tim and Joel. Can I indulge for a second? Because I know you're about to talk about TV that's horny. Yeah. But it's got some hot off the press music news because a lot of people are complaining about the strokes or headlining Splendour in the Grass and one of my favourite bands in the world mm. um, have just done Transmit Festival in Scotland. Mm. I've been boring Kate Ritchie with with um, the vision in here. You haven't bored me. You're enjoying it? Because no, um, I went and made a cup of tea. Because <laughs> uh, fans are saying this could be the end of the strokes because lead singer Julian Casablancas has been appeared to be intoxicated and bagging out the crowd. Oh, um, talking about that's not being, good. being drunk and doing other things. Uh-huh. Um, we have a little grab because this is a moment after the first song where the amplifier didn't work. Fab, you want to serenade the people while they fix the amp? Just waiting for that amp to get itself together. Get your sh** together for once. You are embarrassing us in front of 20,000 mother <laughs> Oh, baby, can't you see that I've been thinking about this song and I He goes on and on a little bit, talks about feces and bags out the crowd. Someone's, oh, wow. saying, someone's saying, sounds over dramatic. This is a tweet from Rex. But I think we've just witnessed the end of the strokes. Oof. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Grow up, mate. It's called a rock and roll band. That's what you're there to see, isn't well, it? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Mm. Grow up. Yeah, rock on. Rock <laughs> on. And they're playing, they're doing Sydney and Melbourne and, and side shows as well. Just can't see them. They're amazing. Do you think I'd like them? Um, um, ooh, um maybe if you we were to a nice dinner beforehand. <laughs> well, I don't want to if I'm going out, you know, if I'm going to, if I'm going to get all pooned I'm going, up. And... I'm going on a couple of Fridays to the Sydney show. Come to that. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Will I embarrass you? Of course not. It was, yes. It'd be dark. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. Don't wear your big shoes. Don't wear your though. shoes. <laughs> yeah. That'd be, that'd don't be great. We, no, don't. No, I don't want them to get dirty in the mosh pit. <laughs> you'll be, when I'm you'll be doing the wall of death. Oh my god. Yes, I will. No, they don't do that. No, I'd need to go. To I almost got involved in the wall of, uh, wall of death during the Amel on the Sniffers set. No in way. Bustenbury. No, I got very close. My shoulder got nudged the wall of death. Were was they it, really it, doing it? Was it was a there? mini wall of death. Yeah, like was it was there a, a real. Going on. Oh, yeah, because they're. Did they're, anyone die? No. It's the safest place in the world, Glastonbury. Everyone's very, very chilled. Did a single have... person die at the festival? I don't believe so. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly right. I mean, Travis Phew. Scott doesn't play Glastonbury, you know, yeah, stuff that's like true. that. That's true. Very, very true. different festival. You know, it's for music lovers. Yeah. It's not for people who want to post stuff on Instagram. Right. Okay. Well, you didn't post anything. <laughs> no, I did, I did. I did a little dump afterwards when I was uh, safely back in my hotel. Sure you did. <laughs> Do you have service there? Yeah, actually. Oh. And it sucked. People oh. get in touch with me all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Hey, Tim and Joel. Movies and TV. Which ones make you a little hot and heavy? Or, yeah. as Alan Jones might say, which movies or TV make you... Horny! 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 <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just trying to think. Um, what tickles my pickle? Yeah, what do you put on? Floats my boat. Oh. What do I put on? Ooh, oh, I do I put know. things. I oh, see. I've never been a person that puts things on for that. No, I don't put it on to get like a bit excited. No. I mean, I, I remember when Brokeback Mountain came out. Oh yeah, and like, that was a, that was very exciting. Why was that about? 
Um, <laughs> it's about a boys' trip. Um, oh, camping trip, BC. Yeah, oh, yeah, camping trip. Was yeah, it BC having fun? Yeah, it was BC having fun. <laughs> Anne Hathaway so good in that film. Um, is she even in it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember that. She's, is she yeah, in she, it? Yeah, she is in it. She's yeah. great in it. You is know, I love what is, Which one does she play? She plays one of their girlfriends. Who oh. obviously doesn't know what's going on. Here's the trailer for it. <laughs> well, how's this? Yes. Um, the Office for National Statistics, gosh, they're fun. Um, in the UK, oh. they've admitted that there's anecdotal evidence that Bridgerton has led to a baby boom. Really? Yeah, people are getting the horn on them during Bridgerton. Oh, and what, Why, is, that, is that a period well, piece? they're just at, at home watching TV, though. Well, way. there's lots of sexy times in Bridgerton. Oh, that's right. Would I like um, Bridgerton? Well, I think you'd appreciate it for the music. They what do lots mean? of, like, fun... Tradition, like, traditional covers of, like, Ariana Grande and Cover, others. Like, they sing it? Like Glee? No, no, no. Covers isn't the word, but you know, it's 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 it's, it's kind of like it, a modern it, it, it take on. It has a modern soundtrack, doesn't it? Yeah, you liked Gossip Girl, actually, so you wouldn't like. Yeah, but it. I was it's, a lot younger. It's an old. Thing. <laughs> you, know, you never stop talking about it. I know because you... I loved it. Yeah, I know. And the Hills. Yeah. The oh, hills. actually, you know what? You would love this thing because it's like a period. It's like Gossip Girl set in period times. Um, I don't think I would. Okay, well, you've recently liked a TV show I saw, that I suggested I've, to you. I watched the fourth episode of the new you season did not, last really? night with my I'm mother-in-law. So, I'm so proud of you. And she loves it. And she asked me all these questions, and I'm actually answering them. And it was the big proposal one I saw last oh night. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, when they're all on the oh, road. Oh, with the, the, the boyfriend yeah. with all the tattoos. Yeah, but also he's not well at the moment. He's no. in hospital. No. Yeah, he's but in hospital. can I ask you a question without yeah. mentioning names? Yeah. Why is my favourite of that family not really in it at all? Why she's like, And when, whenever they show show her she's on her phone and disinterested do you like the model oh yeah. is that the, that one uh, yeah 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 the one yeah, yeah um oh she's busy mate she's got runways she, to stomp but is down. she thinking no but she's in it but not in it well because it's about them i think it's mostly because it's the first season of this new sh- of this thing then yeah of their show now that they own it i think they're really like you know putting the th- big the three big ones up front yeah, okay. I just thought maybe it was something oh, you might know yeah. from behind the scenes that maybe she's not happy about it, but contractually being a part of the family, you just got to be in it, but not in it. Oh, no, she loves it. She's rolling in it. Because um, she's rolling great. Rolling in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She'd be getting the cash, wouldn't she? Oh, I like the mum. Um, of course you do. Anyway, yeah, I want her to be my mum Where Where's um the other mum? It's not mentioned at all no, in the, the show. Mom, the other mom no, was she not in it? No, maybe she was no. filming um Big Brother All Stars or at the time. No, what was it called Big Brother VIP? Talking to Lady Gaga about the barista. Oh, that's right. Oh God, that was tragic. What? Oh, that's right. Yes. And, 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 oh, that's weird. And Lady Gaga um like snubbed her and went, "I've changed baristas." That's How right. tragic! Oh, no, I've got to grab her that actually. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, there he is. Got me. Um, and, right into that one. Yeah, well, Bridgerton first aired in December 2020, and the statistics show there was a rise in births in the UK in September, October, and November of the following year. Why? And one mother said she found the show romantic, sensual, mm. which I hate that word, and compelling, and that nine months after the binging, her, after binging the drama, her second baby was born. All right. I'm really trying to give this story a bit of colour colour with my voice. Could it just be a time of the time of the year or something? Like more babies born at a certain time of year. Unless people are watching Bridgerton in bed and then they're going straight to Bonkerton. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And like we can reenact that because I and also their first scene on the first season um, was their um, was their session scene. That's what they shot on their very first day, and it's really intense. They're on the stairs and they're just going at it, hammer and tong. Wow, why would Mm. you pick the stairs? I know. Well, I think they 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 were so in lust with each other that yeah. they couldn't they couldn't, couldn't wait. wait. To just like that couple get that we saw outside um, Harris Farm, <laughs> <laughs> like they just couldn't wait. They just watched Bridgerton on their phones, <laughs> and then they're like, "Oh my god, I cannot mm, wait to get some salad into all this." The groceries. I'm, a bit yeah, eating all the, I'm eating all the groceries. What if we just bought the groceries? No, eating them all. I'm eating all the groceries. <laughs> and the weirdest part was not to you know specify who should be doing what, but it was it was her going at him. Yeah, I remember know. in I that know. video. Well, finally, you know, <laughs> <laughs> God, you know, <laughs> sharing the love. <laughs> um, thanks, Bree. Most popular birth month is usually August, September, after Christmas and New Year. So all of them, oh. uh, all the months. Oh, <laughs> I guess people Three are getting months. jiggy over summer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Well, hot Christmas. Take. Hot take, everyone. Well, it's I, too much summer to... here. Well, okay. Well, you know what I mean. Other people getting jiggy at Christmas. Yeah. 
Mm. It's too hot to get jiggy. Why do I keep saying jiggy? I don't know, because you're Will Smith. (laughs) I know, I don't like it. Don't slap me in the face. (laughs) I know, but it's, it's too hot to do it over summer. Yeah. What? And that's why you pick the morning. Get it out of the way. Your job's oh, done, and it's right. a bit before it cool. heats up. Yeah, yeah, everyone's happy. And before you had all your food for the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heavy or something good on TV. <laughs> yeah. um, Richard, uh, which one gives you the horn? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's actually not me. It's uh, my partner. Yeah. Um, get into a Wolf of Wall Street, and oh, I love it. Thirty minutes, and yeah, we're. Then you start to escalate pretty quickly. It's pretty hard. Really, bit of heavy Which part? All of it. It's great. Mm. Especially the Margot Robbie bits. Okay. Oh, how about, great. Have you not seen Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, I have. Well, then isn't it obvious? No, no but which half an hour? Well, when he's like selling half the an stocks hour in. or when oh, she's okay. in her undies? No, I don't know. <laughs> 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 well, some people like men with power. Uh, well, oh. of course they do. Yeah. Obviously. How great does Margot look as um, as Barbie? I'm not oh, sold amazing. on that. Oh, I mean, she I looks think amazing. I think it's going to be great. Is it meant to be tongue-in-cheek, as they say. I think a little bit. It's Greta Gerwig. I hope so. Who's that? Mm, she's the director. Oh, good. She's very oh, artsy. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad Greta's finally got another shot. <laughs> Whoever Greta's that is. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting. I've got a Greta advent calendar. <laughs> You're a big Greta Gerwig fan, aren't you? And I don't even know if that's her surname. <laughs> of course you don't, because no one's heard of her. <laughs> no, I think I, but I backed myself yeah, in actually, on it. Speaking of great directors, Danny Boyle's done the um, story of uh, The Sex Pistols. I've just started watching it. It's mm. amazing. Oh. I'm three episodes in. It's called Pistol. You should watch it. Okay. Well, I want to start that show on Netflix, speaking of sexy times, about that woman who goes around and renovates people's um, session rooms. Oh, the Shane Blaze story. <laughs> <laughs> What show's that? It's totally just not. launched on Netflix. This lady com- comes into your house and, and transforms your, like, your, your lounge room into a dungeon. Gross. Mm. Here's a bit of bridge, bridge scent that I might like. Is it meant to be diamonds? I think so. Oh, dear. Okay, is there, what about this one? Ooh. Oh, this is exciting. And here's another bit. <laughs> uh, Emily, what show or movie gives you the horn? Hi. <laughs> it's a show called Is It Cake? <gasps> oh, I know that show. Is I that... love that show. I watch it with my daughter. Is It Cake? Yeah. yeah. I just love it. It's really fun. It's like, I don't know. I just love cake. <laughs> so why does it get you a bit okay. hot? It gets you a bit hot and bothered? Yeah, like I really like when they splash into the cake. Is that oh. you know, it's like a bit essential because you're like, oh, is, is it a croissant cake? or is, is it not a real thing? Yeah. All right, Emily, let's play a radio version of "Is It Cake," and I'll give you a hundred dollars from H and R Block if you get this right. Is this cake <laughs> reluctantly crouched at the starting line? <laughs> Say yes. She doesn't get it. Is it, it cake? Uh, I have no idea. Say yes. Is it oh, cake? Yes. Okay, what about this? Okay, yeah. uh, let, 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 is this cake? Is it, is it a banger? Yes. No, no. Okay, last <laughs> chance. She's playing her own game. Bucks. Is this cake? He's going the distance. He's going oh. the speed. Yes. 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 It's cake. They're all cake. <laughs> Kate. Joel on Nova. 100 bucks to every caller today, thanks to H&R Block, which is good, yeah. which is fantastic for TGIM, you know, because this tax season, don't wing it, ka it. I've Did always said call? that. I, my headphones cords just kind of... No, I've, all, I've, honest, right? I've, I've always said that. I'm thinking oh about getting God. it tattooed. What? ka it? Yeah, ka it. Right across my lower back. Where are don't you going to get the bean? Ka-ching it. The yeah, bean. When are you getting the bean? I can We're get my guy to come in. Oh, your guy? Okay. You got a guy? Not yeah, he got a tattoo guy. Little uh, stick and poke. Oh, the stick and poke. What is that again? It's a little pen. You use a... Oh, it's so fun. Cool. You pay more for it. Oh, I could have had that done when I had my hand needled earlier because I've been using my phone too much. But if you come oh, up that's here, that's right. Soon. That is hilarious. Can we talk about that? You yeah. Had acupuncture because you've been on your phone too much. I had to have my hand acupunctured because where my I hold my phone, I've got one. My phone's massive, and where I hold it, it's sort of like it's really like pulled a mm. muscle in my hand. Oh, your phone's too right? big. It's heavy. It's too big. You're a man. Is it? No, but yours is tiny and old. Now, we've got the same phone. We've established that. We've got exactly yeah, the same phone. Yeah, but I don't phone. think we do. If you put your phone in a handbag, then that's <laughs> fine. You can have a big big phone. I put it in my clutch. 
He does. He's got a Gucci clutch. Yeah. Actually, I've got a satchel on for the holidays. Oh, did oh, you? I've been using the satchel a bit. It's a fine. satchel? It's actually oh. really good. I use like it. A sli- like a sling? Yeah, yeah. Not a bum bag, a satchel. Oh. For your paper, paper round. Where'd yeah. you buy that? Cruples. Of course oh, you I did. Like Cruples. That's In, where you it, got my favourite shirts. And I bought three new favourite shirts from there. Really? Yes. Oh, In, I love that place. Uh, In what's the street called? What's the famous street called? Oxford. No. Carnaby yep. Road. Yeah. Carnaby. Bing. Mm. I saw the shirt you bought in Wellington, got an outing at, at Glastow. I vomited on the sleeve of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you, you just said that. How many times did you vomit? Only once. Really? That I remember. Eli. <laughs> no, no, no. I only vomited once because it was a vodka shot and champagne. It was ridiculous. Oh. A vodka shot. Yuck. Grow up. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I was being... Uh, it, was, it was hospitality. Where did you... So, oh, so you threw up on the shelves. It was out about an hour outside of Stonehenge. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, you're in the car. Travelling. I mean, it was it was a, a, a travel sickness. It was yeah, car sickness. I, I got car sick. <laughs> I know. Stop looking at your phone or, you know, doing a crossword or something in the back of the car. <laughs> so I'm sure that's what you're I can't doing. believe that. Well, you can't believe that. Well, I can, actually. I, can. Yeah, I yeah, saw you vomit into a schooner glass once upon a time. Yeah, and, and you loved it. You tried to kiss me afterwards. No, I didn't. <laughs> Because that would be fine. Mm. <laughs> um, all right, we've run out of time. Oh, well, good. Um, unless you want to... No, we, no, oh, no, we don't actually. Mention it, mention it, because oh, the, the grab's funny. It's, it's, it's a funny video. Yeah, it's too, it's too uh, uh, horny Because the thing is, I don't even actually know who these people are, but they're the parents of a really famous person, a 20-year-old hockey player named Maverick. I don't think oh. he's famous yet. Didn't he just get drafted? Well, I don't know. Doesn't that make you famous in America? You said they're the parents of a really famous person. Wouldn't that be Elton <laughs> well, John's isn't parents? It, no, well, <laughs> Isn't he about to be famous? 20-year-old hockey player named Maverick lived out his childhood dream when he was selected in the NHL draft, whatever that means. National Hockey League. Good on Um, him. Okay, his parents were sitting in the stands. Their sons were selected. The camera panned to them, and they shared a very, very passionate kiss. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Why not? Hey, we're in. Come on now. Oh, wow. Get after it. Oh, time. But time time should happen. When the mouths are already on each other, not as oh, apparently connected. not though. Apparently that's not the fashionable thing to do these days. Well, Travis really? Barker and that other lady do that. All yeah, the time. but when I don't you, think that makes it cool, does it? There it is again. Oh. When you um would kiss on set, Kate, would you ever stick a tongue in? No, no, <laughs> cheeky little tongue. No. That's no. kind of like yes, the rule. Would. That's what no, I No, oh, okay. Kate Ritchie was a bandit for her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, sloppy Ritchie. Oh, yeah. No, you just never do. Not on, hi- not on Home and Away. Seven o'clock. Yeah, no. but that's what you do. Weekdays. But we couldn't see it. I know. You're like secret little time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're okay. like, should we practice our next scene? Yeah, like, yeah okay. Come into my yeah. dressing room. <laughs> And then all of a sudden you hear, flaming heck. Like, oh, no, not Ray. Right. <laughs> no. Don't, don't, oh, don't, pa- don't tongue pass. Don't tongue pass. Ray. Right. <laughs> He's got stuff to do. <laughs> this is Kate, Tim and Joel. Did someone win Big Brother last night? Oh, God. Was that, that's not, that's I well, I won the Big Brother and the MasterChef finale on last night, and I'm like, oh. What was it? Someone text Sonia and ask her. I know, and I don't feel bad telling Sonia I don't watch it because I, 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 you know, no doubt watch one of her other bazillion shows. Exactly, it's cool. No one expects anyone in the industry to watch anything anyone else does. <laughs> no, but that's God, true because no. it's yeah. boring. Yeah, well, uh, did, has anybody <laughs> no, no, watched? It it's not it boring. Is, no, you you just the... came out of the hallway and you went, oh my god, that got so boring towards the end talking about other people's dogs. No, but Bree's talking about a dog that she's sitting. I'm like, oh gosh, how long's the song got? Oh, <laughs> I was dog sitting um, again, Jed, the cocker spaniel. Oh, I, love. Oh, I didn't realise you? you have a cocker spaniel. I didn't realise Annie's a cocker spaniel. No, what she, did you no, think no, she she's is? a cashier spaniel. No. <laughs> I thought she was a cavoodle. No, she's not a cavoodle. She's oh. the only c- cavoodle not in my area. Right. Well, observational. Incredible. Um, now, Master Chef um, finale tomorrow night. Big Brother finale um. tomorrow night. So. Oh my God, who's going to win? Clash of the Titans. Oh my God, you know what I think? <laughs> I hope that girl wins. <laughs> oh, Reggie. Or the guy. <laughs> No, the Master Chef girl. What, Julie Goodwin? No, Ju- <laughs> She's not on it. She was eliminated the other night and I actually Are texted her. Are you serious? Her. I, I know. I said, are they actually allowed to do that? You what? can't eliminate oh, Julie on, Goodwin. No, they, they shouldn't the be able to. They shouldn't be allowed to. It feels wrong. They should have um, eliminated Marco Pierre White's mate. <laughs> Jock. <laughs> Jock's on free or mate. <laughs> yeah, they're best friends. 
<laughs> so tight. Mean. Look, let's go around the room. Who's your friend? No, I don't have any friends. <laughs> Mick Jug is mine, mate. Oh, oh Barack Obama is my right? bestie. Yeah, 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 Oprah's yeah. mine. Oh, her father died. Did you send her a text? Yeah. Oh, really? Vernon. I didn't see that. I haven't been across the news. Vernon, that's rude. He's no. just passed. No, Vernon. His name's Vernon. Vernon, <laughs> Vernon Winfrey. Oh, yes. oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the final guys, the final three of MasterChef are Billy, Daniel, and Sarah. Oh my God, <laughs> brilliant. Who are you going show? for? I think Billy. Yeah, she, that's, she sounds fun. Yeah, I guess it's a girl Billy because it's spelled I E. Like yeah. Billy Eilish. Yeah. I wonder Billy if Billy Piper. Eilish would do a series of MasterChef. She would. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Katy Perry was on. What about when... Um, no, she was on was the on opening there? credits. Katy Perry no. does menu log at the moment. And also, as it's called in the UK, did somebody say, just eat? Oh, oh that that's doesn't right. work. It doesn't work. Now, who was the spiritual leader that was on MasterChef? He Dalai Lama. Up. The Dalai Lama was on MasterChef. Yeah, I think he made this regime. Not. He did a couscous he with was. some sultanas in it and heaps of goat. <laughs> like, give me she a loves break. a goat curry. Was he really on it? He yeah. was. Oh, yeah. Prince Charles How'd he go? It. Yeah, Prince Charles has been on there. Uh-huh. Well, he didn't compete. He needed a mystery oh, box yeah. challenge. <laughs> was he a judge? He was a judge. Yeah, yeah. He's like, mm, this chicken liver is delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Mm, I wonder who Prince Charles is going for, actually, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'll have to get Julie Bishop to ask him. I saw those two hanging out. I know, JB. She's on the market. I know. I can't believe Julie Bishop's single. Can we we actually should get her on the phone and uh, do some speed dating with her. Oh, yes, is that right. Uh, yes, she should, should be the next Bachelorette. Very eligible. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm. That's a great idea for sure. Is that show still going? Is that on yet? That'll I be don't back. Think that'll be she back. needs a hand. Oh, that'll be back like a rash. <laughs> <laughs> Go, okay. Billy. Um, he tasted the food. Okay, yeah, I think we're done with Master Chef stuff. Would they have had to test the food? Before Prince Charles ate it, don't you reckon? Like, if it's well, a member like of the judges, no, no, like if it's a member no. of the royal family, of and you send him into the studio. Because remember, they're not allowed to eat prawns or garlic. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, bloody Julie Goodwin's <laughs> given Prince Charles food poisoning. I know, Julie, you've killed Prince Charles with your sweat. <laughs> <laughs> you sweat on the Prince of Wales, Julie. Bye. This was about a story we missed, so uh, I'm going to play you out with it. Uh, oh. Like, oh, uh, yeah. We're back tomorrow. It's great to be back. Yes. Dude. So good. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.